Hello, friends. Hello, family, and welcome. Welcome to my sacred space that I prepared for us today. Here there is love. I'm Olivia, and this is Tarot and Coffee with Olivia here to do your daily pick a card. I really appreciate each and every one of you. I have um, recently made 102 subscribers. I'm so excited about it. I appreciate... Oh, I'm going to start shuffling from the mind and spirit healing cards. Um, I'm going to start shouting out names of channels this, that have subscribed and friends and those of you who have supported me and those of you. I'm just going to start calling names again. Um, not today, though. Well, we'll do it very soon. <laughs> I just want you to appreciate that I am noticing and that I am appreciative. Um, so today... Well, let me do some hard shuffles here first for our thought of the day. Let's go ahead and get that going. And we're trying to, the goal is to not, to not blow out the candle. <laughs> and let's do one, one more good hard shuffle. Just because it's so fun to do. Alrighty, now I'm going. If you've never done a pick a card before, that's okay. It's really easy. All you have to do is watch the video. <laughs> and we'll just kind of go through everything as we go. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the deck. We're going to pull the bottom card. See what energy we have here today for this reading, it looks like. I fill myself with love and my love overflows to others and this is my cup of tea or my cup of coffee I love this stuff only in community only in relationships only in service can we truly understand the all-encompassing energy of love this is kind of my motto here um, I'm really into um, well, I recently started meditating, and when I say recently, I've been doing it all my life, but I started doing it regularly um, when I started doing this channel. And this is what I've come up with as a, as a life motto. I mean, it, I've like I said, I've been meditating all my life, and I have been serving people all my life. It's what I have always done for a living, and... Um, Anyway, filling yourself with love, that, that is something that happened. The more and more I meditated, the more I felt the love of God for myself and the love of myself for myself. And that made my capacity to love so much greater. And it made my capacity to feel love from others <clears throat> so much greater. In fact, that's why I tell people, you got to love yourself first. I know it sounds vapid. <laughs> it sounds it sounds weak, but you got to love yourself because especially if you're one of those people that is looking for love and has been looking for love and looking for love and you're having trouble finding it, it's within you. I promise. It's within you. All right, let's see what we have. I know I don't want to sound too preachy. I just love you guys, and I want you to feel love. So that's what that's all about. Um, okay, let's go ahead and move on to our pick a card. And as I said earlier, we would go along with you, and I will, uh, if you've never done this before, it's really easy. So some people pick one card, and that's pretty much the way this was designed to do. Um, and that's your card of the day. However... I will say that a lot of people have told me that they do it different ways. Some people pick more than one card, two, three, all. Some people pick all the cards. That's fine, too. Some people just put the video on in the background to, to relax. And that's and to go to sleep. Put on my playlist, and it'll help you sleep. <laughs> okay, let's see what else we have. Okay, let's see what we have. So the first card is our little sea turtle. In fact, maybe I'll use a sea turtle for the thumbnail because they're so cute. All right, and we also have this cute little Cancer the Crab. There's his little smile. <laughs> and then we have the octopus. He also has a little smile. They also have a little smile. 
I don't know if that octopus is male or female or other, so I don't need to, I don't need to say he, do I? All right, let's look at the little whale, and they are a happy little whale, too, eating their krill. So, now's the time. You can go ahead and check out those card toppers, and I can have another sip of coffee, and you can take this time mm, to pick a card. Now, if you need more time, go ahead and take that time. Go ahead and pause the video. Maybe even take a few deep breaths. In fact, let's take at least one right now. It's amazing how even one deep breath can really just take a lot of stress out of your body. It's like you're breathing out stress. In fact, I believe we are. And I also believe that when we cry, we cry out stress, um, stress chemicals. Um, anyway, let's move on. Let's see what card you have, who you are, what you're looking at, and you're looking at. And we are using the Rider weight deck. And we are looking at, what number is that? The Eight of Pentacles. I like to say Pentacles because it helps me remember how to spell it. <laughs> I'm not the greatest of spellers. Okay, so this is all, see how hard you've been working? Look at that drive. Look at that work ethic. This person arrives to work, well, probably early sometimes. You know that adage that says, uh, let's see, 20% of the people do 80% of the work? <laughs> You're one of those 20%. You work hard. Um, so this is, this is what the message for you today is, is about this. Don't let yourself be used up for somebody else's benefit. Search out what's really important to you. And I love this card because this is what happened to me at the beginning of COVID. I mean, before the beginning, I was, I was working and I was working really hard and I'm getting older and it was really hard on my body. And like I said, I've always served people and that's what I've always loved to do from the from the beginning of my work experience and even before, I love to serve people. Um, but I was hurting at work and then I started doing this. I was laid off and I started doing these videos and I started um, being a professional psychic and I'm at a better place than I've been in my whole life. So I want you to know, you are the boss of your life, even if you aren't self-employed. You are the leader. You, you are the master of your life. And if you have figured out how to fill yourself with love and how to love yourself and others, then man, you are sitting pretty. That's what, look how pretty you are. <laughs> Um, I do love, I do love good hard workers. They're always my favorite people. And look, we almost started a fire with our passion here in the, on the table. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and move on to our next card, which is our cute little, um, crabby here. Let's see what card you have. Oh, this is cute. It's cute. I love this card. That is the four of pentacles. And every time I look at it, at first I think two, because I forget about the feet pentacles. Um, but then the Roman numeral on the top reminds me of what, what we're looking at. So what does this mean for you today? The um, the four of pentacles. I Again, I almost called it the two of pentacles. What's going on in the background here? I didn't pay attention to that at first when I first drew this card. There's just a lot going on in the background. It seems like you might even be like up on a precipice or even the roof of a building above all others. So the message for you today with this card is to develop your abilities and develop 
the things that really matter to you, the things that bring you passion, are the things that you're passionate about, the things that bring you joy and happiness. Develop what matters to you and open up and communicate your needs. And when coupled with the I feel myself with love, let's look at the back again, only in community, only in relationships, only in service can we truly understand the all-encompassing energy of love. Now, I'm from Texas, so I do say love. <laughs> But I also say love because I was in choir and I was taught how to pronounce my words um, uh, correctly, I guess. Uh, so, yeah, um, let people know what you need and work on what's important to you today. And I will let you know, pentacles, um, you know, they're coins. And so they often have to do with money. They often have to do with, you know, seeking your fortune like they do in fairy tales. But they also have to do with humanity and your calling in life. And if you're lucky enough, your calling can be your job or your job can be your calling. And I hope that's the case with you. If it's not, you can still, you can still, you can still do what you need to do to be happy and to have a good life. I believe that. Okay, let's look and see what's under our little... Uh, Oh, where is he? Our little purple octopus. Let's see what message we have for you today. Oh, and we have the beautiful page of pentacles. An adventurer, to say the least. So, of course, whenever we see this card, it is an opportunity for you to have a day of an adventure. And I don't mean you have to jump out of an airplane every day. Or bungee jump. That's not exactly what I mean. Sometimes a walk in the woods can be quite an adventure. Um, I don't know if you've ever been geocaching, but man, that's a fun adventure. Oh, oh yeah. And then there's that app, Randonautica. I don't know if you've used that yet. I talked about it in an earlier video. Um, anyway, let's, let's get back to your message of your day of adventure and discovery. Discover this. You yourself are a treasure. As you discover and grasp your talents, you are a blessing in the world. This is your mirror today. This is you. You have the ability to bring joy to the world. And of course, with coupled with I fill myself with love and my love overflows to others, what an opportunity. And aren't these cards beautiful together? Yes, I agree. They're gorgeous. As are you. Okay, let's see what our little whale of a tail has for you today. What message? What card? And the Hierophant. That is uh, the Hierophant. He is often... Um, well... Like a pope rather than a high priest. More like a pope. Someone who is a very highly developed spiritual leader. This is your mirror today. Look in the mirror and this is what you see. You see yourself. Let's look at your face. You see yourself as the hierophant. And so what does that mean? I will tell you what your message is. Your message today has a lot to do with, well, of course it has to do with the filling yourself with love and serving others. That is important. Um, this talks about sharing your soul secrets with others and opening yourself up to their needs. Again, it's about service. Also, with this card, the key of the, the answer that you're looking for, the key, it's in your hands right now. The key is in your hands. So more importantly, um, share your soul secrets. What does that mean? I can tell you what it means to me. Um, when I started this video, Spirit did tell me that I would need to be open. And I did a lot of crying in the early videos, embarrassing stuff. And I still do. I still 
embarrass myself with some of the things that I share that I have kept very personal and private, including personal stories of spirit of being guided by the spirits um, and other things. Um, it's just about cracking open your heart in order to give and receive love. Make it all soft and gooey instead of hard and dark. <laughs> so it and and let's let's hold it up with cause I not just because they're beautiful together, but I fill myself self with love and my love overflows to others. Let's just read that back again because I just love this card so much. I think you can tell which cards I love. When we get a thought of the day that I don't like, <laughs> it doesn't always get integrated into the cards, does it? Um, and, but maybe I should look at those. Um, only in community, only in relationships, only in service can we truly understand the all-encompassing energy of love. I will add that through the service of others, we understand love, but it is even greater that when, when we're able to serve rather than to be served. Although, again, without someone to be served, uh, what am I trying to say? I'm trying to get a sip of coffee. Let me do that first. <laughs> mm. And then actually we're going to go ahead and end because I could, I could just talk all day about this. But, but here we are. We've completed your thought of the day. I really appreciate your being there. I hope you found this to be just what you needed. Please do take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Don't make life-altering decisions or changes based on any pick a card, not even this one. And do connect with me on my other social media platforms listed in the description. Do book for a, you know, you can hit my website, Tarot and Coffee with Olivia at GoDaddy's. Uh, dot GoDaddySites.com, hit that, hit that link and you can set up with me or you can just come see me through Keen. Um, there most evenings, at least, at least four, sometimes five days a week, I'm there on Keen and you can hit me up and you can, uh, talk to me through Keen. Um, otherwise just hit the subscribe button and come back. That's just fine too. Thank you guys. Love you. See you next time.